Hey, Mark, fake banter for the intro. That's all I know how to do. Great. Good to be here. Welcome to Tuesdays with... Stories. Hit her in the face with a surfboard. And then the duck fell out of his bag. <laughs> Surf's up. And she didn't even flush. Knock, knock. Who's there? Mark Norman and Joe List. Yeah! This is Tuesdays with Stories, everybody. No, nah, that's terrible. This is supposed to be cheesy. My radio is spitting at me. And I can choose one. Ow! Hey, hey, look at that. The bag squeeze. Oh, I love a bag squeeze. Remember that in the oh, 90s? Oh, that was a big thing with the uh, hyperventilating. Remember, give them a bag and they go. Oh, yeah. I had a guy give me a bag when I was having my panic attack period. Ah. Uh, this is. Well, that was, it was a ball bag. What was. What is the point of. I got a new bit about that. You see the porn? They're sucking on a ball. Huh? Like, that's my worst nightmare. You see in porn sometimes, it's like a, a, a guy sucking another guy's ball. I mean, a girl sucking a guy's ball. Ball sack? Yeah. Oh, that's great. No, it's no good. You don't like the ball suck? No, I mean, I don't want to get too into it. I'm just giving away my material here. Oh, but, oh um, sorry. But no, I don't like a ball suck one bit. What? It's the worst thing I can imagine. I don't want women seeing my balls, let alone sucking on them. Seeing them is tough, but the thing with the balls is I love ball play. I Be- hate ball play. I'm all ball play. That's my number one. This number is one over dick play? Ah, well, it's like a meat with a side. You can't just have the meat. No, I don't like my ball. I mean, I, I can't even do this without just doing a bit. All but right. uh, it's either ticklish or painful, the ball. Oh, that's funny. It's like, woohoo, or like, da, you well, know? I think it's a mental thing. You know, you put a thumb in a lady's ass and sure. you, you get turned on, but you're not feeling it. It doesn't feel good for your thumb, but the fact that you're in the ass is hot. Mm. So I think with the ball, balls are so gross, they're wrinkly, they're hairy, they're smelly, they're slimy, they're schmegma. So the fact that she's willing to get in there is like, whoa, baby, this gal's into me. I guess so, but couldn't she do that in your ass? Because that I'd be more into. A girl eating my ass, thumbing my ass, dicking my ass. Yeah, my, my balls don't have a dick in it. Wait, no. <laughs> uh, my, my ass is covered in poo. Right. So that's a, that adds another layer. But my balls are long enough that they're smearing the poo. Oh. My asshole and balls are all, they're cousins. Oh, really? Kissing cousins. <laughs> Kirk cousins. Well, do you ever get a good ladle down there and give it one of these? <sighs> I have. Well, you know me, still the same old G, but I've been low-key. I mean, I hang out and watch TV. My hand is on my balls 100% of the <laughs> same, time. Same here. And then I'll do it. I'll just kind of... <laughs> my hand is on your balls. I mean, Chuck is just TV. wrinkling a wrapper in the microphone over there. I don't... Oh, the mic's not on. Okay. There you go. I just hear fucking... Uh, but anyways, <laughs> I'll have my hand on my balls, and then, you know, I'll, I'll scratch the nose, you know, and then yeah. I'm like... I, I just oh, I throw yeah. up. It's a sour stench of, of death, but uh, it is fun to get a good whiff of what you're working with. Yeah, it's a real, like it's a gym sock. It's like a gray gym sock. You know that kid that yes. wore the gray socks? Yes, or like a hockey bag. You ever open a hockey bag and give a good old-fashioned whiff? Woo-wee! Yeah, exactly. It's that kind of smell. My batting gloves used to oh. smell like that, the inside. If you really dig into your belly button. Yeah, you know, no, I can't do it. And then give that a sniff. Oh, that makes me more grossed out than the sack for some reason. Yeah, Sacklers. Yeah, the sack is supposed to be gross. Sack lunch. But the uh, with the belly button, you're like, oh, it's a belly button. But woof, that is a pit of evil. Yeah, so uh, I'm, no, I'm no balls, and uh, I don't know. Chuck, Chuck's leaving. Are you running out? You get back, because I got a tail. I got an all-timer. You're oh. not going to want to miss it. No, go, go. We can uh, kill some We can some devil. Time. I got some horse shit. I mean, I mean, this is... A story. Oh, good. I well, got a story. That's the name of the show. I mean, you know, we say it all the time. You only really get two, three, four stories a year. Right. And if you're the lucky. rest is just a guy farted on the plane. Uh, you know, the train was late. Yes. My father's gay. My this, wall bag. This is a tale, my friend. Oh. You're going to have to buckle. You're going to have to put on a suit. Well, this is exciting for me because we're all comedians. Not him. But we're all comics, and we get to, uh, we have the story, you get to hold court, you're at the table, you're at the barbecue, the party, 
But I've heard all of yours, I think. Yeah, and you've heard all mine. We're in reruns at this point. We're in syndication. So now when I get to hear a new one, and I get to hear it first, into the mic. I mean, this is something. I mean, I was texting you, and it's one of these stories that you're like, well, that was crazy. Yeah. And then more develops. Oh, nice. And you go, that was nutty. And then more develops. Yes. That's yeah. exciting. That's when you got a real story, because you can have the beginning part, and you get a chuckle here and there. But when you got the full arc... You're in. Ark of the Covenant. But I mean, Mark I don't Norman. know. I don't know how hilarious this is. This might not be a. <laughs> this is more of like a whoa. What? Huh? Oh, interesting. Weird. And I got to tell you, Luke Monas is the MVP of this story. This oh. man. I, I, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in love. I get nervous. I get, my heart flutters when I see this boy. This guy's getting a lot of airtime on this pod. I feel like we got to have him on a live app just so people can get a look at this uh, seven-foot Jew. He's quite a sight, I might add. He, he's one of these guys that, like, low-key hot. I'm, there's certain men I'm extremely attracted to. Sure, Brad sure. Pitt, Chuck, my father. Oh, there's a f- tough list. <laughs> He is a tough list. Uh, <laughs> That's what I call your dad. A tough list to crack. Uh-huh. Uh, but some men, like Soder's one of these guys, yes. and you find out later that he's hot. I You're know. Like, what? Really? It's so weird. Like I, I, I do this other pod, and there's a, there's a what do you call it, like a bullpen with like a couple of computers, uh-huh. and one of the girls is a cute little Jew broad, and she loves comedy, and she's like... Soda's coming in today, and she ran in the bathroom with her makeup bag and went, went full uh, in Nicole Smith, blackface. She came out, heels on, mini skirt, and I was like, oh, wow, I forgot Soda. I see him as a big, goofy voices guy with yeah. a giant noggin. He's Nick Novicki if you ordered him large. Give me an XL Novicki. <laughs> I mean, he's, he's not ugly. I'm never looking no. at Soda going, oh, but I didn't know he was a stud muffin. Oh, muffin top. He's big. He's really something, and Monus is the same way. Way. To me, he's just a, a tall boy who's sweet. I mean, he's got a great smile. Yeah. You know? He's got good lips. He's got the, the weird, curvy, pouty lip. I guess so, yeah. A pouty lip. Great head of hair. He's, his beautiful hair, beautiful smile. Uh, I'm, I'm smitten. Yeah, but, I don't, I've never heard a lady go, that Mona is, though. I'm telling you, okay. I'm out there. I mean, he's got couples coming up and giving him a hug okay. and being like, "We liked you the best." Oh, and then like winking. All, all your openers get that. And the, um, <laughs> and then the husband's like this, like a like a <laughs> like a, easy a sister. No, no, like a Timonis. Oh, like, you're like, damn right, we liked you. We're gonna watch Swingers tonight if you get my drift. Yeah, he's had a couple of those, and he's got some real beauty. You can see them. You're like, they're like, hey, great show, and what's your name? Oh. They really. You can you can feel the vibe. Interesting. And he's a killer on stage, so he's Un- got the whole package. Unbelievably funny, great package, nice penis, but uh, he oh. is a go-getter. Oh, yeah. As you'll hear. Well, he snaps into action. He's one of these guys, like one time me and him and another cat were out on the sidewalk, and it was about two in the morning after a show, and we're all chit-chatting. And you know how it gets downtown, a couple of street dwellers, riffraffs, derelicts pop up, and he just kept going, No. You know, I'd do the fake, oh, well, what are you going to do, buddy? You know, I had a Girl Scout cookie earlier. I'm out of cash. And he's like, move it along, asshole. And you're like, whoa, he'll stiff you. Well, he was raised properly. I said this. He's a real, I'm returning this. I'm going to complain. I'm going to yes. get, you know, whatever. I don't have any of that. I, I'm, I'm just like, well, I'll just eat this dog shit on here, but I'll eat it because my mother hates me. Yes, and yes. And I'll tip 25% so they <laughs> exactly, like me. Exactly, exactly. Then I'll write a re- good review on Yelp. This guy, he don't give no fuck. Should I, should I get into this tale? Do you want to throw some stuff out there? I mean, you've been teasing. I feel like you have to. I mean, because this is, it's like Broadway Danny Rose. I'm like, you got to be anywhere. You want to order something? You want to go to the bathroom? I'm up. My feet are up. I, I, I have a prostate issue. I can't whiz. I'm good. I got an itchy nose. Once you itch the nose, it never stops itching. As you broke the seal. Have you heard about this new uh, variant? <laughs> variant. Yeah, yeah. I think you yeah. Got it. Everybody's got it. I uh, heard you cough down the hallway. Big cough. Well, I turned my head. I coughed. Uh, nail in the coffin. But uh, my lady's a little under the weather, so I'm worried that she's got. Uh, Just got a text. Uh, Canceled party this weekend. Canceled COVID. party. COVID. From COVID. It's going. My dad has it right now. My father's. Okay, my father's infected, and uh, I read the the thing. It's, it doesn't make you sicker, but it's very slippery. It's it gets in there. And did you see what the CDC said? I don't know about the CDC. They said the people who are vaccinated are more likely to get it. Really? CDC. 
No kidding. How about that? The tables have turned. Why Why are the more vac- the vaccinated more? Isn't the vaccine worn off? We got vaccinated three years ago. Do they wear? Of I course they, they wear. wear. I think they wear after like six weeks. Wear and tear. Yeah. I think, uh, I mean, I don't know what to know anymore, but I think the vaccinated, vac- that's for the people that are getting boosted, I believe. Maybe the boost. Because there's a new boost coming. Uh, Why don't I stop with the booster seats? Bustamante. I mean, I haven't been vaccinated since 1988. Same, that same. Was quite a while ago. I got the polio and I moved on. <laughs> I think, uh, anyways, I'm nervous because I'm having a child. You don't want to get it right before the child. I know. The herpes is already a worry. It's, it is. I mean, babies can die from that. What? That's what they say when we're together. Uh, <laughs> when uh, I think we're alone now. I think when, if, you, if, the, if the mother gets herpes in the third trimester... So the, the body's not used to it yet. So it's gone haywire. And then the baby, they have to do a C-section because if the baby squirts out through the vagina, sure. it's a herpes outbreak, his immune system doesn't know how to, he doesn't know immune system. Holy so he's just hell. Hurt and he'll just be like. Wow. Well, yeah. How about this? Last time I'm hanging out with Rosebud. You know, she's eight months. She's ready to go. Yeah. She's three weeks ahead of Sarah. Okay. And uh, I go, so what's going on? What, how are you feeling? She's like, oh, I'm going C-section. Yeah, she's guaranteed C-section. I go, why is that? She goes, I got a perfect vagina, and I had to, I had to get up and <laughs> and, and fan myself and do a little spritz in the sink and come back and regroup. <laughs> Good gravy, we gotta yeah. cut this. I got, I mean, I gotta. I know it was a lot. I was like, <laughs> woo, <Jesus> boy. <laughs> What's this, global warming? It's hot in here. Where's that Greta Thunberg? I mean, I can't handle this. Perfect vagina. We got to block Haynes off the account. He can't be uh, hearing this. I already called him. I FaceTimed with him. I said, talk to me, big daddy. I need details. Jesus H. I, mean, I know. I ooh, know. I'm voting Republican. Ooh. I mean, that's it. I gotta... ooh, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Oh, boy. Global warming. I mean, that's no joke, by the way. I was just in Dallas. My child is doomed. <laughs> you covering the boner the, with the bag That's here? right. The temperature <laughs> in the dashboard, 122. Wow. 122. 122. I've never experienced heat like this. Wow. One o'clock in the morning, you walk outside, you leave the showroom. <laughs> I'm, ta- I'm talking 103 degrees, pitch black. That's, that's Biden's age. 5 a.m. I walk out. He's only like six months older than Trump, by the way. I know. But. I walk out of the, uh, the, the what do you call it? The comedy club. Comedy club. And you think like... Oh, yeah, the show, that was great. You've been in the club for five hours. Sure. You leave, and it's like a heat, hot breath. <sighs> I know. And your state is burning down for the first time ever. Is that right? Louisiana's like crazy wildfires. The mayor what? came on, and the governor, he's like, no one in the history of Louisiana has ever seen anything like this. Greece is burning down. Uh, Hurricane in Southern California. Maui's gone. Holy hell, that place is lit. We're doomed. Hopefully, uh, AI will... Put out something. the fires. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Wow, you can't go outside. You get burned. You, get, you go inside. AI fucks your wife. Did you know? Oh, God, I hope so. I'm into that. That's true. Anal insertion. Hey, that's yeah, pretty good. Something. Uh, did you know? What was I just about to say? Did um, you know? Uh, global warming, Fuck. Maui, ah. Louisiana, anal insertion. Shit. Uh, Biden, Christ on uh, Christmas. Six weeks older than Trump. What the hell was I about to say? Uh, the story, the erection, perfect vagina. No, no. C-sec. No, no. Did I ever tell you the C-sec guy that came into Sarah's lobby. work? He's one of these guys. The people that don't know how to order. So you got you to play a part in this. He's this guy. Okay. You're going to be Sarah, right? Okay. All right. So when I say, uh, what kind of beer do you have? Just start naming beers. All right. We got hey, Sierra. Wait, hold on. Have no, you sorry. 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 I, didn't, I didn't go to UCB. Seinfeld can't act. <laughs> no, All no. Right, here we go. Ready? Hey, uh, hey nice. Uh, what's up there, fussy britches? What kind of beers you got? All right. Tonight we got a Bud Light. No. We got Miller Light. No. We got Coors. No. We got Amstel. No. We got Heineken. No, no. Um, I mean, is that not brutal? You let the person give all the beers and then yeah. you say, you pick one. Oh, yeah. You that just, is One bad. at a time was like this. No. No. Who does that? No. This guy. I hate this guy. Bad guy. Horrible guy. George is saying, cut it. Sheesh. Guy right. Branham. Hey, folks. Tuesdays with Stories is brought to you by Liquid IV. Do you actually hate your life or are you just dehydrated? Mm. I'd rather not answer. Dehydration can actually cause a decrease in serotonin and serotelomosh, which means that you can experience anxiety, irritability, and sadness. Drink up with Liquid IV. It's the number one powered hydration brand in America. With just one stick mixed with water, you'll get three times the electrolytes of leading sports drinks 
and the hydration you just need two times faster than if you just had water alone. Don't be drinking water like some dork, like a caveman. Put some powder in there. This stuff is delicious. They got awesome flavors like sea berry, strawberry, lemonade, Concord grape. You'll never get bored. I have boxes and boxes of these. We had to reroute them to the Holbrook Fire Department because those guys, they're putting out fires. They get dehydrated. They use liquid IV. They all ask me. They all thank me. They write to me. They say, here's a dick pic. We're so thrilled you sent us this Liquid IV. It allows us to fight fires better. Mm -hmm. Liquid IV is even gluten, dairy, and soy-free and contains five essential vitamins your body needs to thrive. B3, B5, B6, B12. Be the first one to get some Liquid IV. Nice. Vitamin C also. There's so many reasons in life to be depressed. Don't let dehydration be one of them. Real people... Real flavor, real hydrating. Grab your Liquid IV in bulk nationwide at Costco, or you can get 20% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use code TUESDAYS at checkout. That's 20% off anything when you shop better hydration today using promo code TUESDAYS at liquidiv.com. Here, here. Yo-ho! Tuesday's story is brought to you by DraftKings. We've had a boring seven months without NFL games, but the fun is finally back. DraftKings, an official sports betting partner of the NFL, is giving you a can't-miss offer for Week 1. New customers can get $200 in bonus bets instantly when you just when you bet just 5 bucks on any NFL game. All customers can snag two new offers every single game day this September, so download the app and see what you get. Download now and use code TUESDAYS. To sign up, new customers get to take home 200 clams bonus instantly just for betting five bucks. That's a steal. That's code Tuesdays only on DraftKings Sportsbook on official sports betting partner and official sports betting partner of the NFL. The crown is yours. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER or visit www.1800gambler.net. In New York, call 877-8-HOPE-NEW-YORK or NY or text hope NY. In Connecticut, help is available for gambling as well. Call 888-789-7777 or visit ccpg.org. Play Good responsibly. Lord. On behalf of Boot Hill Casino and Resort in Kansas, 21 age varies just by jurisdiction, void in Ontario. What the That's hell? That's all in there? Yeah. What? New customers what can is get this, a meeting? I know. New customers can get $200 in bonus bets instantly when you bet 5 bucks on any NFL game. Download DraftKings app and use code TUESDAYS. Today. So, uh, you want to hear this story? Yeah, I guess so. I guess I'm. Bu- oh, let me buckle. I think I'm. <laughs> I might be overbuilding. Oh boy, big build. No, you said it's a story. I'm punching my ticket. I'm getting a popcorn and a soda, and I'm sitting in a big chair that vibrates. <laughs> it's a story, but I gotta need you to punch it up because hey, we told it to a, here for. a comedian, and he was like, "Well, this isn't very funny." Oh, who's this guy? Was this the beer guy? <laughs> I mean, I don't want to say who it is. Man, what a but it downer. Was hurtful. It was very hurtful, and then we told it later because more more developed. Oh wow! And everyone was laughing. We're like, "No, it's funny." Okay, okay. Funny story. Okay, so I'm out in Dallas, Fort Worth, oh, Dallas yeah. Improv. Yes, great, great comedy club. Man, great, so. one of the great improvs. Great town. Is it Addison? Addison Improv, Addison and Ray. I think it's my favorite improv that I've been to because it feels like side splitters. It's like yes. a roof. It's a, it's in a building, and it's like it's small and dark, and feels a little bit shit, like a little bit of stank. A little stank. It's next to a dueling pianos uh, bar. It's in a weird kind of complex. Yeah, and there's a, the a, a what do you call it? What do you call the handy? Um, rub and tug. Rub and tug right across the way. Is that right? Yeah, one of the waiters just popped in. And uh, I was sitting there getting ready to go on. I'm meditating. I'm, I'm thinking about my future and climate change. And uh, the waiter just came in and he goes, uh, Hey, uh, I don't know what you do, but there's, I know you don't drink, but there's a rub and tug. Ah. Which was nice and strange at yeah. the same time. <laughs> yeah, it's thoughtful and considerate, but it's also inappropriate. Yeah, I felt like uh, in. Um, you know, the guy that tells the story in Fargo, I'm like, what do you think I am? I don't set up this kind of thing. I'm right. Like, but then after someone tells you about it, you're like, yeah. Uh, you piqued my interest. I don't know. That yeah, seems yeah. like something. I'm piqued. Put the bag on me. It's just a like a labelless black door massage open till like 11p. And I was like, hmm. Ooh. I didn't dabble, but still what interesting. Is my, what is in my black door? So anyways, great club. Awesome club. 
flying down there, first class, very exciting. Very exciting, because that's a, that's a hefty four-hour plus. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a haul. So, and I got a window seat, which I don't usually like, mm. but I got upgraded, so I'm like, that's all that's available. I'll take, I'll take the window. Definitely take it. A first class window. Although I, sometimes I think a, a Comfort Plus aisle is better than a first class window because I drink a lot of tea and water and I piss a lot. Yeah, yeah. Holding in a piss can be quite unpleasant. I think you're right if it's unless it's a lay down. If it's a lay down, you gotta take the lay down. Lay down, absolutely. But lay down, there is no real window. If you're a lay down, you don't I guess that's there true. is maybe. Well, no, no, no. There's a window, but it's still an aisle. Yes, exactly. You're on the end. So anyway, and it was one of these ones with the guy sleeping, and I'm like, he never got uh, up the whole flight. I don't yeah. understand these don't get up a whole flight people. What is this, a Cosby victim? Get up, it's four hours. <laughs> you don't want to stretch, you don't have to piss. Yeah. Any jizz, I'm in the window, and I have sweatpants on. I like to fly with sweatpants, sure. so I'm comfy. And then I got my AirPods in the sweatpants. Now, sweatpants, they're loose, and they got a big pocket. Yes. So I'm very self-conscious about the AirPods. They're here right now, so I'm checking compulsively. Always, same. Keep doing that. I shift them up so they're near the smelly balls. Yep, yep. Get them safe. Checking. I'm listening to a podcast for the first hour or so. Then they bring a breakfast, Ooh, which is exciting. Very exciting. Now, when I get bre- when I'm eating a meal, I have to be watching something unless I'm with people and hanging out. Okay. I got to be in front of the TV. It goes back since I was a child. Interesting. I got to have a movie or a sporting event on the television. That is the height of luxury. Eating in front of a TV with something good on, can't beat it. It's the best. I mean, when I was a kid, we didn't sit around a table going, oh, how was your day? We, right in front, we had Cheers, Jeopardy, whatever the fuck. That's fake. I think that's a that's a myth in the 50s magazines or whatever. Hey, you sit around the table, you go, hi, hey, say grace, and who, what black people did you hate? We're like the Costanzas. You take TV out of our relationship. My family is just, it's nothing. It's board games, card games, or television. Okay. And that's a wrap. Where there's no talking. What about like on, in Maine when you're out on the, the woods with a tent? No tent. We'll sit on a porch, but it's, it's always cards. Mm. There's always, we're playing scat, we're playing uh, poker, whatever. There's, there's got to be a game going. Okay, interesting. We're all games. Sarah's family is the complete opposite. We're just talking philosophy and history. That's how my family is, and it's, I hate it. I've hated it since I was a fetus. Yeah, games is good. Love like a like game. a balance. All right. Any farts. Game on. So I'm, I'm up there. I switch. Now the... Food comes, so I switch to a film. I pop on uh, Pulp Fiction or something like that. Mm-hmm. I'm watching the thing, and I'm kind of half asleep, half awake, whatever. At some point, I realize I don't have my AirPods. Where are my AirPods? Oh, God. I don't have them. It's the worst feeling in the world. So I'm like, they're not here. I go in my backpack, and I always put them in one place, and I'm like, they're not there, and I don't remember putting them back in there. So I'm like, they must have fallen out of my pocket. Yeah. I got the sweatpants on. So okay. I'm kind of doing this. And you try not to freak out. I'm very right. self-conscious. Right. You don't want everyone going, look at this guy freaking out. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. You don't want to freak out, especially on a flight. I'm doing this, and then I'm like doing that shit, and I'm like, okay, I'm going to relax. They're on the plane. Yes, you had them in their ear. I had them. I was listening to a podcast. They're here. Okay. They're here, queer. They're here. So I go, okay, no sweat. Plane lands. I do the full turnaround. I'm like. You guys didn't happen to find any AirPods. It's a father and son oh. combo. And they're looking like, no, I don't know, AirPods, no. If you're and interacting with other people, this is serious now. We're on we're on level orange. Oh, it's serious. And the dad is like, what's he saying? What? Uh, and the kid's like, AirPods. He's a teenager. AirPods. What? Right. AirPods. And I'm like, you would see them. They're white. Yes. And I'm like, how far could they have fucking, fucking gone? Boomer. So I'm looking. Then I turn around. I take the whole seat off, the flotation device. Wow. I just rip it off. And it's quite a sight under there. It ain't pretty. There's parachutes and M&Ms. It's, it's crazy. <laughs> so I take that thing off. And I'm in the third row. So I got to get off soon. Uh-huh. You know, you don't want to be holding up the line. No, no line hold. So And then the guy. Hold. So the guy Great next part. to me, he's got the same AirPods I have. Plugged in, they're charging. Now you're one of those mine, you come guzzler. So you kind of do that moment of like, hmm. And I almost said, but he was like a big broy with tattoos Ugh. and stuff. So if there's a little lady, I would have smacked her and taken him. But I yeah. go, <laughs> well, that's why I put a swastika on mine with a marker because you never know. Uh, marker Normander. Uh, fuck me. Marks a lot. All right. 
You got to punch it up. I suck. No, no. Keep going. I'm, I'm, I'm intrigued because I know this feeling. So I, I'm looking, thinking, are those mine? He takes them and I, he walks off and I'm like, maybe he's leaving my AirPods. But I'm like, but they were in my left pocket. How the fuck would he have got them? They got to be over here. Yeah. So I'm looking and I'm like, I can't get off the plane. They're on the plane. Yes, yes. The pilot. Get on the plane. Pods so, on a plane. Then I say to the flight attendant, hey, I lost my AirPods. Has anyone reported AirPods or anything? His name was Shiva or Shiva, S-H-I-V-A, a a, a small, uh, presenting as gay, I think, Middle Eastern fella. (laughs) Shiva Mason. So um, she did guest spots. Ah. so he's he comes and helps me. This man, I gotta give a shout out. Delta, Shiva, Shiva, Shivo, Shiva LaBeouf, Terry Shivo, Andrew Shavone, whatever this guy's name is, <laughs> above and beyond. He's one of these guys. You know how sometimes you go, "Hey, I'm missing something." They go, "Oh, that's crazy," and they do this. Yeah. Uh, well, I don't know. And well, that's one of the keys to being in first class. You get a first class, you're gonna get a little hand on the knee, Kaepernick. He's down there fishing. I'm diamond, baby. Oh, baby, girls. Better Best friend. So he comes over and he's like, I'm going to look around. He's like, I know these seats. I know this equipment. They're going to find it. He goes, why don't you go up to the top of the jet bridge? He's okay. like, don't leave. Stay there. Now, mind you, I have to piss so bad. Ah. You know me. I piss five times a minute. It's been four hours. I'm like, I feel like I have to throw up. Yes. They have to piss. In this time, Monus, he's on a different flight. He texts me. I just landed. I said, come to E17. We got an emergency. I need you. Yes, yes. I go to the top of the thing. He's like, I promise you, these cleaners, they find everything. Oh, boy, tension is mounting. The urine, the pods, the time, the E-17, Monez, a lot going on here. Plus the guy that left with the AirPods. I'm like, that was suspect. Yeah, he should have gotten his license. So I go to the top of the jet bridge. I'm waiting. I'm looking for Monez. I want to throw I, I run to the bathroom, but it's like a line out the thing. But ah! I'm like, I don't want to miss Shiva when he comes back and yes, sits Shiva. Yes, so yes. So I run back. I'm in agony. And I checked a suitcase, which I never do, but I was landing 20 minutes before Monus. So I was like, well, I'm waiting for him anyways. I'll just check my suitcase. But how could it gotten? But yeah, you got to check everything. But I'm just saying, so I know now I know my suitcase is coming out the chute and it's rotating. And I'm like, someone's going to take my goddamn oh, suitcase. Oh, Jesus. Layers, wrinkles. I've never checked a bag ever. So I, I'm fucking sitting at the top of the jet bridge. Shiva comes out. He walks out and he's like, we haven't found them. He goes, do you have the f- find my AirPods? Out? Ah, good now, question. Now, you know me. I'm a fucking idiot. I don't know how to use use Same. an app. I don't know a phone. You just want to give it to you. You do it. That's exactly what he does. He goes, let me see your phone. Perfect, and I go, Shiva. okay, great. Thank you. Sit, Shiva. He's a little guy. I mean, this guy is invested. Oh, I, I, I love the Shiv. I'm in love with Shiv. So he looks, he pulls up the app. I didn't even know it was on my phone. He, he's like, knows all these tricks that if you swipe from the middle of the phone, it brings down all these apps. Mm. I'm Seriously, I have no idea what I'm doing yeah, on yeah, a cell same. phone. I'm embarrassed. So he finds it. He looks it up. He's like, now they're on the plane. It says they're oh, on the plane. Oh, wow. So I'm like, okay. And did you know now the app, you can do like warmer, colder? No way. It's so accurate. It literally is like closer, further. What? Yes, it's wild. So he's Boy, like- that I, apple, those Chinese. So he's like, okay, just come with me, which is illegal. You can't go back down there. That's I'm like, right. I was like, I'll go back down there. And he's like, you're with me. I'm Shiva. Diamond. Let's go. So we walk down the jet bridge, and now I'm seeing something you're not supposed to see. Mm. It's an empty flight with the cleaning people. They got, like, hazmats. They really oh, clean. Yeah. I just assumed this. they were full of shit. No, nah, no. Nah. They get in there with the COVID's back. They got to start scrubbing. New variant. So they're spraying. They got the mask and the things, and they're, I mean, they're really wow. juicing it up. And meanwhile, this plane is turning around. There's like a whole pile of people upstairs in line waiting to get on. So what are we at? 40 minutes? Because to get every fat American off of a Delta flight takes a chunk of time. It's been a few minutes. I I haven't pissed. I'm fucked. I want to throw up and shit. It's like the DePaulo joke. You hold a pistol and it turns into a shit. (laughs) So I go That's down a there. Funny angle. Now he goes. What do I got? An alchemist in my stomach? Um, <laughs> alchemist is funny. Yes. So now I'm on the plane. It's totally empty. The cleaning people are there, and they're all in my section. There's two ladies cleaning in my section. He's doing the tick, tick, tick. It's getting warmer. Mm. He's like, it says they're here, they're right by your seat. It's right over your seat. So I'm on my hands and knees. I'm looking. He's on his hands and knees. The cleaning women are just kind of around, mm. and he goes. Are you sure it's not in your backpack? Ah. You have your backpack. It says it's near there. And I'm like, I rip my bag apart. I ah. only put them in one place also. So I know they're not in there. He goes, yeah. 
Put your backpack on the jet br- up there. Yes. So we know for sure. So this I walk, is unbelievable. I walk halfway up the jet bridge. I put my bag. I come back, and he's like, you're right. They're still staying there here. And so now I'm like, they got to be in the cleaning lady's pocket. Oh, no. It's Esmeralda. So I'm like, she's right there. She's there. We're there. And I'm like, it has to be. He's taking out all the seats. And it's wow. going, doot, 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 doot. It's like no country for old men. It's a transponder. It's like, doot, 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 doot. Oh, my God. Can't find him. The, the gate agent is coming down. She's like, okay, are we ready? Oh, we have to board the plane. Oh, and you got a whiz. And I go, listen, I, I'm not going to delay a flight. This is crazy. Sure. I, I got to just give up. And the guy's like, it's crazy because they're saying they're right here. Oh, But it's my a plane. Lord. You're like, what the fuck? Where could they be? We're pulling them up. He's like, they're not in your pocket. I'm like, they're not. If they were in my pocket, I would have to take my own life. I'm yeah, like, there's yeah. no, they're not in the pocket. I'm taking, I'm showing them my dick. I'm lifting my ball bag. <laughs> sure, don't let them touch the balls. <laughs> I'm spreading my ass all open. I'm like, Shiva, I got nothing. Oh my God, I'm on the edge of my tits there. So I go, okay. And he goes, go to the thing, report. He's like, we have your name. We know your name. He goes, go to the lost and found, just report it. I'm like, I don't know what the hell that's going to do. Exactly. They, they we're here. Let's do it. We're right here. He goes, they'll turn up. They're on the plane. We're looking. Whatever. So Boy. I go, okay. I find Monus. I go piss. It's like one of the, it's like a half, it, my, my bladder is destroyed. <laughs> I, I know that feeling. So I piss and he's like, I should have been on there. They, I got to get on that plane. Uh, what is he, Air Force One, Harrison Ford? He is. Let's get off my plane. <laughs> and I'm like, they're not going to let you on there. They shouldn't have let me on there. It's illegal. The plane's turning around. So I'm bummed. I've lost my AirPods. The AirPods are gone. I'll go to the Apple store, whatever it is. We go, we drive, we go to the hotel, we check in, we fuck, we do the shows. <laughs> So then, you'd we're be at- the worst terrorist, by the way. <laughs> I lost the bomb. I don't know where it is. We gotta get Shiva in here. So we get down to the club, and I'm like, "Well, let me check to see where they are because yes. you can track them." I look; they're on the other side of the airport. Airport. Huh. They've moved across the terminal. Okay, because the plane moved. Well, the plane took the off. The plane took off. So I'm like, "Huh? Huh? I'm stumped." And so I go. I think the cleaning people have it. Oh, some fat cunt is on the other end cleaning another plane, listening to Joe Rogan. Exactly. Uh-huh. That's exactly right. She's cleaning the other plane on the other side of the terminal. And by the way, I went, I got my suitcase. My suitcase is off the belt, by the way. Yeah. Because we were up there for 40 minutes looking for the AirPods. So I'm oh, like, they where take the it. fuck is my suitcase? Right. So I had to go to the lost and found area, find the suitcase. It got inspected by TSA. It had the little Jeez. ticket in it. Because it was just left there. So Damn. TSA grabbed it. They searched. So they found the dildos. They All the dildos, the lube, the uh, herpes meds. Sure. So I go up, and there's this three black women at the Lost and Found, and I'm like, hey, hey, lady, I don't know. So Shiva told me to come down and give you my number, and they're all like, I mean. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I know. It's so stupid. We had a good rapport. I was like, it's ridiculous. I lost my AirPods. And she's like. Okay. Yeah. What's your name and number? Just like does this. Yeah. She's clearly not writing it down. I'm like, all right. <laughs> Anybody can take them. I was like, take care. Comb your hair. Nice to meet you. Sure. Don't touch your hair. So we go. <laughs> we rent the car. Get the car. We go back. We're trying to figure it out. So now hours later, we look. They're on the other side of the terminal. So huh. I'm like, okay. They're still there. They're at the airport. Something's up. Okay. This is weird. This is really getting spicy. Hey, hey, folks, Tuesday's story is brought to you by First Leaf. In the past, the only way, the only ways to learn what wines you like, you have to go to a stuffy wine tasting or hope the random bottle your friend gave you for your birthday is any good. And there's a new way to figure out your faves, and it's called First Leaf. This is a great idea. First Leaf Wine Club sends personalized wine shipments straight to your door, all priced way lower than you'd find at your local wine store. Getting started is easy, too. Just take a quiz about your likes and dislikes, and First Leaf's expert team will pick a custom assortment of world-class wines just for you. This is pretty brilliant. The wine shop always closes. It's far from my house. I never know what to get. My lady loves the vino, and I always screw it up. But we took a quiz, and now they send that stuff right to the door, and it's perfect. As she likes a nice Pinot Grigio, and she likes a nice chilled white. Mm. And she's getting those all day long, sent right to the house. You can't beat it. Uh, You can even choose the day your wine shipment arrives, so you never have to miss... Uh, a delivery, and you don't stress. And you got a dinner party cooking, or you want to have a celebration. It's there when you need it. To make sure you've got great wine when you want it this summer, you've got to try First Leaf. Just head over to tryfirstleaf.com slash Tuesdays 
to sign up, and you'll get your first six hand-curated bottles for just $44.95. That is a crazy steal. Go to tryfirstleaf.com slash Tuesdays. That's T-R-Y-F-I-R-S-T-L-E-A-F dot com slash Tuesdays. Get your first six bottles for under eight bucks a bottle. That's a steal. Tryfirstleaf.com slash Tuesdays. Thank you. When your schedule is crazy and you can't afford to be standing in line at the grocery store or crying over chopping onions Mm. one by one, it's time to get farm fresh pre-portioned ingredients sent right to your doorstep from Hello Fresh. Yes. Hello Fresh makes home cooking fun, easy, and affordable. It's no wonder they are America's number one meal kit. Yeah, they're right. They sent us boxes of stuff. So much stuff I couldn't even use it. I had to share with uh, Ronan took oh, some. Wow. Steve and Caitlin took some. I'm feeding the entire household. These people are poor. Love it. Poor working class comedians. I'm giving them Hello Fresh. They've never been healthier. They lost weight. They're fit because HelloFresh is healthy, mm-hmm. fresh food, easy to make. Even I can use it. Real food. With 40 chef-crafted recipes to choose from every week, there's always something new to try. If you have a family who is constantly raiding the cupboards and eating you out of house and home, <laughs> there you go. don't panic. HelloFresh can help with that, too. Shop the HelloFresh market and add snacks and sides to your weekly order to keep everyone satisfied. Here, here. Folks, this stuff is awesome. You gotta get it. I'm sure you've heard of it before. Use it. If you have you been waiting, you've been thinking about it, now is the time. Go to HelloFresh.com slash fifty Tuesdays. Fifty Tuesdays. Five zero Tuesdays and use code five zero Tuesdays. Because with the 50 Tuesdays, you're going to get 50% off plus 15% off the next two months. That's insane, that Sing deal. It, sister. That's HelloFresh.com slash 50Tuesdays. 50Tuesdays and use code 50Tuesdays for 50% off plus yes. 15% off for the next two months. Woo! That's insane. Wow. HelloFresh. Goodbye, hunger. Enjoy it. Love it. We do the show. We go back to the hotel. We're hanging out. I go, let me check again. Hmm. They've moved again. Now they're on the premise of the airport, but they're off out of the terminal and they're on a building. I zoom in. It's the Sky Chef's building. Oh, you know, Sky Chef. Oh, yeah. So I'm like, okay. And Luke is like, we're going to that building. Ah. He's like, we are going there in the morning. I'm like, you think? He's like, Absolutely. He's like, if you don't go, I will take an Uber there. I'm going to the fucking building. He's like the wolf. He's like, we're fixing this problem. He solves problems. He's crazy. So I'm like, okay, we'll go in the morning. So we wake up like, we hit the bell. (laughs) The sun's not up. It's 155 (laughs) degrees. He had a Muslim in bed. (laughs) Shiva came and blew me. Um, I mean, that's Shiva, by the way. First class, Delta, Shiva. Blood diamond. Whatever the fuck. We go, we jump in the car, we drive out there, and this is like restricted area. We're literally oh, driving yeah. on like a road, like <laughs> <laughs> like it's it's all uh, what's that called? Rumble strips. Oh yeah. There's orange cones. It's like literally like it's like a horror movie. It's like no admittance. Yes, no yes. Cum, Area ID. 51. And the planes are like flying right over. It's barbed wire fence. Mm. We're not near any terminal. Sure. And it is literally like a broken up road, like. <laughs> And I'm like, this is crazy. Like, I think we're going to get killed. This is insane. Well, what makes you think you can get in the access to this joint? It's Luke. He was raised with parents. Wow. Parents who were like, you have a right to live, son. You're a good boy. But can I just, I don't want to ruin the story, but can I just say the balls it would take? You're talking to a, a guy who steals from Hudson News every Tuesday. The balls it would take to see you scrambling with Shiva, Shiva, or Shava, and, uh, you know, you're doing this shit, and you go, and then you keep scrubbing. I know it's 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 bold, but bold brazen. Somebody took the fucking AirPods because they're moving. They're moving around. Yeah, yeah. All right. So we show up there, and it literally it says restricted, no people, get out of here, fuck you, yeah, you shouldn't we, be here. We have your AirPods. It keep was like going. return to us. So I pull in there, and it's all trucks. It's all eighteen wheelers uh, and box trucks. And I'm in my Toyota Corolla rental. Sure. We pull up, and Luke. 
he's like fucking uh, Wyatt Earp. Uh huh. He's got a hat on and a, and a six shooter. He's, I got photos of it. I got to post him. It's crazy. Wow. He just walks up there. He looks like Kevin McHale just coming, <laughs> going to going to clothesline Rambus. <laughs> Wyatt Earpstein. He walks up. And he's just doing this. Excuse me, my friend's AirPods oh, are in the building. I'm hiding under the steering wheel. Now. And it's it's a loading dock. Yes. So and this is where the sky shed. It's where every all the trash go. Everything gets to go cleaned and stuff. There's like you see like. Uh, the the food you know the trays they come yes, up with yes yes those things are wheeling in and out big bags of trash and these are like workers yeah they're wearing hair nets and and gloves these and, are ex cons and and some of them are, are you know uh, asylum seekers whatever <laughs> so sure the guy's sure. like Luke's like hey excuse me my friend's AirPods are in here he's showing them the phone. oh wow and some guys like what is this this is like, unreal they're in the building the AirPods are in the building. Did, now, does he get off on this? Is he enjoying this, or is this just a matter of principle? Like, I think it's principle. I think he's a very principled man. Wow. He's a principal. Yeah. Uh, title. Sorry. I, don't know I loved title. it. Title. So the guy goes, I'll supervisor, supervisor. We're like, yeah, yeah, get the supervisor. Yeah, super. So now we're sitting on it. Now, mind you, it is literally 110 degrees, and we're like on no shade coverage, cement. Extra hot, pavement. yeah, yeah, and you can see that those fumes coming up in the in the wind. What do you call that? The mirage or the the heat rays? Wigglies, the wiggly squigglies. Yeah, and then we're also at a part of the airport. Like the planes are taking off. It's like Wayne's World. The planes are like, <laughs> like I could jump and grab the wheel and fly away. On right. it. It's they're right there. We're like on the runway, everywhere. No admittance, r- restricted area. Get the fuck out of here. Cameras. Guy comes out. The supervisor comes out. I was going to say late 30s, early 40s, mm. black guy, big smile, handsome guy, big plastic hairnet, gloves, mm. the whole thing. He just walks out. He sees us. He goes, y'all are wilding out. You can't uh. be here. <laughs> He's like, we're wilding out. We are uh, wilding out. You My AirPods right. are in there. We got Wyatt Earp over here. Just two guys with glasses going, hi, excuse me, my AirPods. <laughs> You're wilding Earp. He's like, y'all are wilding out. You can't be here. This is nuts. He's like, you see the signs everywhere. I'm like, we see the signs. The AirPods are in there. <laughs> we show him. Now, he's up on the thing. It's like a it's a loading dock. So mm. he's up high, and he, he crouches down right away, and he's looking at my phone, and he's like, huh. Uh-oh. Yeah, they're in there. Huh. Shit, he's like, well, let me see what I can do. He's like, can I take your phone? And I was like, take my phone. I know, but now we lost another Apple product. Exactly, and it got quite uneasy because the phone is unlocked. So he can send dick pics. He can look at my wife's pussy. He can look at your wife's tits. Uh, it's just everything's in there. <laughs> is this Wild and Out guy or is this the supervisor? This is the supervisor. Okay. The supervisor is the Wild and Out. Oh, he's the same guy. That's how he opened it. He oh. came through double doors. I was picturing a guy with a hairnet and, and gloves who was doing the trays. He's got the hairnet and gloves. Oh, the supervisor's okay. one with them. He's got uh, it. He, he Leads from the front or whatever you say. Got it, got it, anal. He, he, and I'd vote for this guy for president. He comes in, he's like, uh, yeah, y'all wild now, you shouldn't be here. And then we swing him around because we're like, the layer parts are in there. And he's like, huh. Yeah. And then he's like, maybe you're not wild now. Maybe yeah. you're all right. Yes, yes, you're wilding in. So he's like, all right, I can go look. I, if, if, can I take your phone? And I'm like, yeah, take my phone. Take my wife, please. please. That's all I want is my wife to get fucked by a black guy in front of me. But Sure, with a hairnet. So he goes in. He starts looking. Mm. So I'm like, all right. And, oh, and then he also, he's wearing AirPods, by the way. Ah, and so he, he knows the importance. He takes three steps in and he turns. It's like a movie. He turns with a smile and goes, I'm an Apple man myself. Hey. And then goes in. <laughs> so we're like, okay, we're in good hands here. But usually they're kind as a Samsung folk, if you know what I mean. All right. All we'll right, cut that. Just, but uh, he goes in. Just saying. He goes in. Raycon. He goes in. <laughs> Recon. Recon oh, Raycon. His name was probably Ray. So he goes in there. Ray Ray and Big Steve. <laughs> he goes in. And so about... 12 minutes pass, mm. we're out there, and we're p- literally pouring sweat, sure. 150 degrees, planes are going by, and then the other workers are still working. They're just yeah. walking by us being like, what the hell's going on out here? Right, right. Who are these queefs? They lost their uh, jetway. At one point, a car pulls up, and we're like, this is going to be security. We're yeah. going to get shot. He called the cops. Yep. They show up. It's two people. They walk up, and the lady's in a cane, one foot, six inches too short, and she's like, is this the... Scuba da boop boop boo. I'm looking for the scuba. We're like, we, you can't be here. You're gonna yeah. Get you're killed. way off. You're wilding out. Yeah, I'm like, you're ter- this isn't a terminal. This isn't anything. Yeah. We don't work here. We're just cops. You know, get out of here. So they leave. Okay. Ten minutes pass, and I'm like, it's part of me is like, 
I wonder if he's just fucking with it. What's he doing in there? I mean, is he like, is his feet sticking out of the garbage? He's going to come out with banana peels right. and apple cores on his head and coffee stains. Yeah, and have you guys found any shelter? Have you seeked asylum? Are you under a... a, a a doorway, something. I'm telling you, there's no shade. And at first, I was doing like jumping jacks and shadow box. I'm all excited. I'm all yes. amped up. I'm like, I'm about to get my AirPods back. I was. It was too hot. I mean, I, we're seeing mirages and stuff. Yes. I saw, you know, Christy Brinkley was walking up and then she disappeared. <laughs> it's a beachy mirage. So then he comes out. I forgot this part. I had told. He's like, "What flight were you on?" I was like, 511 LaGuardia to DFW." Good he's in there for ten minutes. He comes out, and now he's kind of laughing and smiling. Mm. He's like, I'm still looking. And he goes, what was your flight again? 58, 41, 69, 32? Mm. We got a dyslexic here. And I'm like, his numbers were so far off of what I said that I was like, oh, maybe we got it all wrong. Maybe this guy's fucking with us. Maybe we're two white privileged Karens showing up at like a work space a real job workplace yes being like excuse me my ipods yeah uh, hello. you don't want to be that guy and he's in there going these fucking idiots think i'm gonna look for his fucking airpods yeah there's some honkies out there on the rumble strip they, they think we're gonna help them so i'm like do you think he's fucking with us and luke's like no way this guy's good mm. I'm, we're in good hands he's okay. doing it and i'm okay. like maybe but i was like the way he's laughing and he's like i'm still looking yeah and he throws out the wrong flight numbers and i was like no no it's 511 and he's like, okay, I'll keep looking. Interesting. And I'm like, huh. and he still has my phone. So it's a little scared because there's no turning back. I can't just be like, I don't like this. Let's no. get out of here. Yes, yes. He has my phone. Right. Which, you, you know. You need the phone. You're in Dallas. You got to get home. The phone means more to me than my wife and kids. So Apparently. I'm like, all right. So now 15 more minutes. We've been outside for 30 minutes. Wow. He's in there 15 minutes. And I'm like, again, we're just picturing the other people holding his ankles. And he's in there. It's like Star Wars. Yes. The fucking that thing. Who knows what's going on in there? Beep, 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 beep. So finally he comes out and he goes, okay. We think they're in the dish machine. He didn't say dishwasher. He said dish machine, which threw us off a little bit. Well, with the Mexicans down there, dishwasher could be a guy. That's true. Jose and Jose B. So he goes, uh, <laughs> yeah, they're, they're in the dish machine. He goes, dish I hold machine. them over the dish machine. It goes off. He goes, but they are waterproof. Oh. So he's like, you can't stop the machine. Evidently, there's no like abort on the machine. Ah, well, that's Texas. <laughs> so he goes, can't abort. <laughs> So he goes, yeah, they're they're in the sh- machine. He goes, I'll let the whole crew know. Okay. I'm the supervisor. If they find him, we'll call you. We exchange numbers. Wow. He's like, my name's, I'll, I'll give a fake name. My name's TJ. Okay. He goes, uh, my name's TJ. Here's my number. I get his number, and I go, okay, great. And he's like, but they're in that machine. I, I'm pretty sure that's what it feels like. We run everything through the machine. When it opens, we'll we'll find them. We'll we'll call you. Oh, I, I think I might know what happened. But keep going. I don't want to f- shit in your mouth. So okay, I go. Okay, no sweat. So we leave, and this is when we figure out what happened. Okay, hit me. You want to throw it out there? Well, I got an idea, but I don't want to ruin the whole kit and caboo. Hit me with the idea. All right, I think you had the AirPods in your pants. You were freaking out. They were up in your ass. You had them in your balls, and so you eat eat, eat breakfast. You put the pot on the tray then they scoop up the tray and they put them on the little rack and then they throw that motherfucker in the dishwasher but before they do that they throw them underneath the galley in the plane ah which is underneath there's a chute there's a little uh what do you call that fake elevator thing dumbwaiter dumbwaiter there's a dumbwaiter at the front of the plane i didn't even know that they put that in they go they put them down underneath the galley into the other galley and you know where that is Underneath first class. Oh! So the whole time they're pinging my phone, my fucking AirPods are right below the floor. Wow, hidden galley. That's why we can't find them. Oh, my God. So we're tearing up the rug, the seat, the everything. I'm blaming immigrants. This is unbelievable. They're underneath the plane the whole time. Holy shit. So then they take the tray, they slide it to the other side of the terminal, then they take it to the Sky Chef's office, they put it in the dishwasher, and this is why, because the tray takes up the whole, tr- the, the whole f- table, the, the little fold-out yes, thing. Yes, yes. The tray takes it up. So I switched from movies, put the AirPods in the tray. Wow. And I remember distinctly being like kind of half asleep, like uh, half a queer. Uh-huh. And the guy was like, Shiva was yes. like, hey, can I take your tray? And I was like, oh, yeah, take the tray. Sorry. I wasn't present. Yes. I would have been like, oh, wait, wait, hold on. 
So the AirPods stick to the tray. They go in the galley. They wow. go in the dumb waiter. They're underneath the floorboards. That's why it's pinging. Galley of the dolls. So now it's on the tray, safe and sound. As soon as that dishwasher opens, I'm getting my AirPods. Oh, my Lord. This is unbelievable. But wait. There's so more. Then, there can't be more. There's more, baby. Oh, my oh, there's God. More. What a tail. It's like my cock in your ass. There's more. I just. It hurts. Ugh. Keep going. So we go back to the uh, the club and we're we're going okay. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it happens. Hopefully we find them. Let's see. I don't hear anything. And uh. I'm like, how long does a dish machine go for? Yeah, an and, hour. And I know they're waterproof, but there's some wacky heat going in that. They really burn those plates. Suds, washing, window washing, the whole thing. Yeah. So that night. I go, all right, well, I didn't hear from uh, TJ. That's yeah, a little upsetting. Yeah, I figured I, figured I would have heard from TJ. Yeah. So Luke goes, hey, check to see where they're at. Uh-huh. I go, well, we know where they're at. They're in the dish machine. Sure. I go check them out. They're at this apartment building. Oh, no, TJ. It's about 12 minutes from the airport, West Walnut Hill. I go, oh. Two hours, huh? This is interesting. Well. I go, they're at this apartment. And now Luke just goes berserk. He's like, I'm calling the cops. I'm going to call the police. He's got a tattoo of Rudy Giuliani on his arm. I mean, this guy, <laughs> he's, uh, he's, he's hardcore. He's like, I'm calling the cops. Wow. Maybe was it was like, Jose the dishwasher. I was like, the cops? What are you out of your mind? He's like, I'm calling the police. We're going there. He's like, we're going to go to that apartment. Whoa. And I'm like, I'm, I'm looking in like on Google Maps. I'm like, we're not going to this apartment. That's insane. Yeah. It's like, it's out by the airport. This seems crazy. So I go, we're not going there. We'll, we'll figure something out. I'll text TJ in the morning. I'll see what happened. Sure. So we're like, but this is interesting because they're no longer at Sky Chefs. They're now at an apartment. Yes, yes. So then I wake up at, uh, let's see, 9 in the morning, get a text from TJ. Good morning. After looking and waiting for the porters to clean the machine, we were not able to find your AirPods. I apologize for that. Uh. So I write back. A couple hours later, I'm like, I'm like, what do we do? What's the move? We went out to breakfast. We game planned. Yeah, it's, it's like swingers. You gotta, it's like a hot girl. You got to give it a minute. Exactly. So I write, no sweat. Thank you so much for your help. Very much appreciate it. I let three minutes pass. I send the screenshot. Smart. And write, Strangely enough, they're actually now saying they're at this place down the street from the airport. Ooh, very polite. Well done. Well manicured. Well, I'm trying to, because I, I don't want to be accusatory, and this guy has been so helpful. Sure. And we don't believe, we we believe in TJ. This okay. man's a good man. You can feel the vibe, the smile, the wild out. I like TJ. The exchange of numbers. He had my phone. He could have... You know, deleted my checking account or whatever. Yeah, yeah, true. So he seemed quite trustworthy. So we're like, we like TJ. We don't suspect TJ. Huh. Of course, there's a part of you that's like, this guy could just be crazy and fucking with us and beat us up. Yeah, and he might live on Walnut Grove or whatever the hell. So 11.42 a.m., I write, they're actually now saying they're at this place down the street. 11.50. Oh, it took a minute. Get the text. Eight minutes later, we're at breakfast. I get the text. Looks like, what does it say? We're freaking out. I pick it up. If you can come back to my job, I'll get them for you. Whoa. Dot, dot, dot. This is getting ominous. Dot, dot, dot. Be here at noon. Whoa. What is this? A Western high noon. <laughs> so now I'm like, wait, is this for real? I, Luke's like, this is it. We got it. We got to go get guns. I'm like, yes. should we get weapons? Should we call the cops? Holy, you got to bring Luke. You got to bring backup. I mean, I don't know what's going on. If you can come to my job, I'll get them for you, which feels weird. I mean, what do you make of that? Yeah, well, it sounds like he's uh, he wants to be greased. Mm. You know, hey, you come to my job, you slip me a uh, 40, a 50, and we'll get these uh, pods back in your ass. So he doesn't elaborate. So I'm like, what does that mean? So I give it 13 minutes past because we're sitting there going, it's good, it's bad, this is crazy, the yeah. dangerous. I mean, should lucky we call number. the feds? I mean, what do we do? Yeah, yeah, lucky 13. So I felt like this was good. I wrote, seriously? Question mark? Trying to get him to elaborate. Yes. Seriously? Yes. Open up a little, Tej. Four minutes pass. He writes, Yes, sir. Oh, jeez, this guy's a closed book. That, yes, sir, seems good. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to get him. I know, but I, you got no information out of the yes, sir. So I'm like, okay, 1221, 14 minutes later, he writes, can you make it? Jeez, is this a gay code? Is this feels like some <laughs> kind of, hey, come on by noon, yes, sir, put it in my ass. I don't know what's going on at this point. I'm like, is this a trap? Is he trapping us? But Luke was good, because Luke's like... 
First of all, Luke was like, you're catastrophizing. And I'm like, I'm not. I'm just looking at all angles. I'm not <sighs> shitting my pants here. I'm just like making sure we're not just going into a trap like fucking Han Solo. Yeah, you don't want to be putting carbonite, but uh, you can catastrophize, <laughs> and so can I. That's what we do. But I'm not like, oh, I'm freaking out. I'm like, what if? I just think we should be calculated, look at this from all angles. But look at a good point. He's like, he's a federal employee. It's like, this is federal grounds. There's cameras everywhere. What are they going to do? Just jump out and beat us up? True, true. And you have his name. And phone number. Exactly. And he just felt like a, a square guy, like a, a, a good dude. Uh huh. So uh, he writes, Can you make it? I wrote back, I think we can. This is very exciting. Thanks so much. So I want to really make sure he knows we're good boys. Yes, here. yes. We're excited. So then eight minutes pass. The next text. What a breakfast this must have been. You guys must oh, have been clanging crazy. plates together and high-fiving. It was wild. We're eating pancakes. We're kissing <laughs> on the lips. I picture all the waitresses and the cooks. What do you say? What do you say? So I write, yes, yeah, seriously, I think we can make it. Thanks so much. Eight minutes past, 12.30 even. The text. <sighs> wait, wait, 12.30? I thought you had to be there at noon. Well, he said he'll be there at noon. Oh, okay, okay, That's when his shift starts. So we get the, twa- the text, comes in. <laughs> What's it say? And that's Sarah. I want a divorce. It says, I have them. Oh! He's got the pods, baby. I write, holy shit, thank you. He writes, no problem. Huh. So then we head out there, and this is crazy. Now we're pushing each other into the bushes. We're yeah. driving out there, and I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And there's still part of me that's like, what if he hits us with a sack of pennies? Sure. And, and, and you know, fucks our wives. <laughs> yeah, he might have a sock full of pool balls. I mean, I'm terrified, but also excited. We get there. We drive back through over the bumpy road, the orange <laughs> cones, everything. Rumble like, strip. We have to, like, smash through uh, one of those wooden arms. <laughs> and stuff. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We go in there. It's we like park the A-team. Next to all the box trucks, we A-team. walk up, and then there's a guy out there who's got, like, the hat and the gloves and the thing. He's like, what, what, what is this? What are you guys doing? Oh, we know TJ, Dickless. We, out of the way, fatty. We go, We're here to see TJ. He's got something for us. And the guy's like, all right, I'll be right back. Goes in. There's, like, five minutes. My heart is pounding. Very exciting. Out comes TJ with... The AirPods. There they are. He's got them. And now this is the first time seeing him in three days. Yeah, it's like a kid. He goes, first and foremost, I apologize. The rubber tips have been taken. Whoa. Little... Is, is that from the dishwash? No. He said uh, whoever took them did what? Because they have like earwax and shit. So this person uh, threw them out. Oh, so they were stolen. So we say, what happened? He goes, you want the truth? And Wait a like, minute. Wait a minute. I mean, hold on. I'm not mentally prepared for this. This is so fucking exciting. I've, I've got a turtle head. I've got a boner. I can't believe what I'm hearing. This is unbelievable. They went to the apartment. They were in the dish machine. There's Esmeralda, the galley. There's so many the, fucking the, things cooking. They've, they've been everywhere. They're, they've got like 10,000 steps. <laughs> yeah. So I say, we go, he goes, you want the truth? And we both go, oh, give us the truth. We want the truth. Truth social. You can't handle the truth. Truth or dare. Yes, <laughs> yes. He goes, the truth is, he told his crew, he's the supervisor, he told everyone in the crew. Oh, God. He said, all right, this man's AirPods are in there, and when they come out, get the AirPods. Wait, wait, wait. They're in the, the, the sky dish chef. Machine. Oh, they're in the dish machine. Okay. Yeah. So then, obviously, somebody they went, yeah, no, they weren't in there. And so he just goes, okay. And he writes, unfortunately, we looked. They're not in there. So then I sent him the screenshot, and as soon as he sees the screenshot, he tells us, he goes, I got to tell you, oh boy. I don't want to blow up his shit, but he was like, I got to, or, or this person's shit, but he goes, uh, I got to tell you, I've been uh, I've been to this place before. Oh. I recognize that address. I went to a barbecue there. Oh, so it's a little employee gathering. So as soon as I saw that address, he goes, I got a photographic memory. I saw that address. I've been there. We had a cookout there. As soon as I saw that. I knew who it was. Whoa. He knows the person where they live. Whoa. So he called him into the office, and he goes, you got five minutes to tell me where those AirPods Whoa. are, or you're going to jail. He's Wyatt Earp. Oh, he said, you're going to jail. And she said, she started crying. and she. said, She said, Poppy, I don't want to go to jail. Oh, and he Poppy, said, I'm getting clues. I don't want to go to jail, Pop. Oh, he didn't say Poppy. He said Pop. pop. I don't want to go to jail, Pop. Okay. And he said, give, he said, give that man his stuff. You don't mm. take a man's shit. Mm. Go get that. He's like, you got 30 minutes to go get those AirPods. You bring them back here in 30 minutes. You don't get in trouble. This is between us and the 50,000 people that listen to the podcast. Sure. I love TJ. This is between us. He goes, 
Get that man his shit. Woo! You're not taking this man's shit. And she, he didn't even say the AirPods. He just said, get the man his shit. Yeah. She knew what it was. He's like, you got 30 minutes to get back here. So that's oh. when he texts. She was like, okay, okay, Pop, I'm sorry. Don't fire me. Wow. She leaves. And that's when he texted. He's like, yeah, I can get him for you. And then he texts. She must have come back. And he said, I got him. Wow. She took my rubber tips, which sucks. As the sound's not as good. They don't fit as well. But you can order those on Amazon. Yes. So I got some new rubber tips coming in. Whoever this lady is snatched him. Yep. And uh, he he recognized it right away, got on it, and the AirPods are safe and sound. And then I said, hey, I'll tell you what. And this is a twist for him. I go, we're stand-up comedians. You got that right. And he goes, you got to be kidding. I go, we're at the Addison Improv tonight. I want you to come. You're my guest, you and your wife. VIP. Two free tickets, and I'll tell you what, we'll get all your drinks, too. Yeah, TJ. And he said, Jeez. I said, just send me your name, and uh, you're on the list. Holy and he texts hell. and he goes, all right, me and my wife are coming. And I'm like, all right, TJ, wow. the wife. I can't wait to see the wife. If I know her like I think I do, she's a beautiful lady. They'll invite us right in. I love it. So they're coming to the late show. I'm all excited. We're like, we're like nervous to see TJ. Of course, I'm, of course. I'm writing new bits about black friends I don't have. Yeah. Like, I want to really pander. <laughs> Hope you pull out the red carpet. Get this guy the best seat, the best drinks, the best food. I told him I want him in the middle, back a little way so he's sure. not up front. I want to put stress on him, right? Smack in the middle, and they say, you want to take care of his drink? I said, I want you to take care of every drink. Oh, the, the Remy Martin, it. Heineken's, Carvassier. Hennessy. Hennessy, whatever it is. Wow. Take care of them. So we're in the back. We're like so excited to meet TJ. Can't wait to see him. I hope you did old material. You don't want to throw the new stuff at this guy. Uh, that's all I got is new. It all stinks. Oh, uh, TJ. So I walk out there, and I'm like, where's TJ? And they go, uh. Never showed. Ah, uh, well, he probably got killed by Rita or whoever. <laughs> he just texted. My only thought was maybe he went to the Arlington Improv, uh, where Godfrey was, which he might enjoy more. Maybe it was a blessing in, in blackness. But uh, yeah, he never came, which I was upset. I wanted to take a photo with him, the whole thing. But the AirPods are safe wow. and sound. Back in the pocket. Is that a tail? That is the that is next level. Put it in the vault because that is signed, sealed, delivered. Clip it, post it. TJ, big shout out to TJ. TJ. That's not his real name, but uh, it's close to that. And TJ, we thank you. Shiva, we thank you. Monas, we thank you. See, the, the beauty is if you're a good egg, it comes back to you. If you follow the rules and you play it straight, you shiva, TJ, these are good people out there in Tejas. Well, I feel like Apollo 13 of like all the men and women that worked hard. Well, the women just fucked me. But the men sure. who worked hard to bring it all back in. But what a crazy, because we thought they were stolen. They weren't stolen. Yes. Then, they were stolen. then they were stolen. Then they were recovered. I felt bad because I was blaming the, the cleaner lady, and I was like, ah, Esmeralda. Then I was like, ah, what am I doing? They're probably going to dishwasher. Come on, now here I am blaming random people. And then she came through and fucking sticky-fingered it. And a bold move, too, because it's like we, you know, we, I guess she doesn't know, but I'm like, we traced the AirPods back to here. Yes. And the AirPods don't even work because they're locked. Once you put them um, bricked, uh -huh. That's what Luke was calling. Once you put them in lost mode, you can't. Nobody can use them. But oh. hey, so they don't even work. She could have pawned them though. Oh, maybe. You know, if you're working in the Sky Chef, I think a cup, you know, an extra twenty bucks goes a long way. Yeah, maybe. And they're also like top AirPods. Although I prefer Raycon, but they're yes, like two hundred seventy-five dollar AirPods. I mean, those are like yeah, AirPods yeah. are serious now. The Pro. Yes. The Pro is expensive. I got the Pros as well, and I'm all over my pockets just like you. Yeah, it's hard, and, and, and I'm not a lose-things guy. Mm -hmm. I've never lost a phone or keys. or I, just, I don't lose things. I'm very particular. I've lost many things, and it fucking hurts. I'm on my 38th pair of Warby Parker sunglasses because I like those. I've lost my AirPods. One time I just put them down in the uh, United Lounge, and it's a white counter. You put it on there, you don't even notice it. It's tough, and uh, I know I put it on uh, that tray, and like I said, I was half away. I've never even lost my virginity, for, for God's sake. <laughs> Hi, folks. But uh, yeah, I put it on the tray. It's crowded, and, and I wasn't fully done. I was Like I said, I was half asleep. Oh, yeah, take my tray. Yeah, and, uh, boy, the galley. Quite a thing. That that's the craziest part, though, is the the finding it and they were underneath. Yeah, that's why it was so perplexing. It was like, what the fuck? And sometimes you throw a napkin on there, it's it pretty covered, you know, that tray. Yeah. So you can't even blame the uh, the the Shiva son of an onion. But man, what a tale! Oh my god, the twists, the turns, the roller coasters, the TJs, the Wyland, the dishwash. So many people helped along the way. I'm very grateful, Shiva. 
TJ, Sky Chefs, Monus. But Monus, really, he was the driving force. Shout out man. to the Monet Monet because uh, I would have gone, oh, are they here? Eh, they're gone. Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I was like, oh, whatever. I would never think to go to the private access, behind the scenes uh, airport bullshit. It was wild. I got to show you some uh, photos. Too. We'll, we'll plug him in. But he looks, he literally looks like fucking Wyatt Earp walking up there. Wow. I mean, look at this man. I mean, he's just going Holy in. Holy moly. Look at that. Look at this. Yeah, he's a huckleberry. Is that unbelievable? I mean, I mean, look where we were. The yeah. bowels. Now, do you talk about that on stage that night, or how does that work? Because it's such an epic tale with twists and turns, but yet it's so long and you haven't punched it up. Oh, yeah, look at that. It looks like Darfur over there. I told it the first night, but it wasn't... Uh, there's the AirPods back. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I told it the first night, but there's not... Too many jokes. I know. You know? It's I like, know. yeah, it was crazy, you know. So yeah. maybe I'll punch it up at one point. I mean, this is a closer. I feel like if you can if you can tighten it up and punch it up, I mean, that's uh that's the end of a special right there. Maybe. But that, that was the thing. I, I had an AirPods chunk in my last special. I was gonna dust it off for oh, uh, TJ. I was yes. like, he's gonna love this. Wow. I know TJ like I think I do. He loves AirPod material. I thought we had something with that uh, horse shitty EV electric vehicle I had a month ago, but this is a really a humdinger takes the cake. That was lunch. Couple tails. I don't know. Is, are we over time? I don't even know what time it is. 55. Holy what? shit. That was an hour. Wow. Oh. I, I got it. It was gripping. God, it was I like watching terrible. Avatar. I was on the edge. Oh, jeez. Oh, well, we got five minutes. Uh, I'll be at the Addison Improv. No. Uh, oh, God. No, that's great. I mean, that's uh, People geez. are going to be pulling over on the highway to listen to that. I don't know about that. I don't know if I can squeeze a lot of this in a squeeze five. Squeeze something in. Squeeze a few things in. Cut Ooh. the squeeze part. Well, we did the Philly Live ep. I want to throw that out there. Thanks to Philadelphia, the city of brotherly love, for showing up at the Palace of Fine Arts. The performance of, the living of performing arts. arts. Yeah. The living, theater of the living arts. We had Umar. We had DeRose out there. We had a great time. We had pizza. Chuck made cookies or his wife made uh, edibles, whatever it was. And... Uh, we just had a good old time. We had a lot of laughs. Another great crowd. So thanks to the livers who, who really jizzed it up. What a what a night that was. Classic hang. Classic. We did a pod on the drive up. Pod on the drive back. I mean, it was, uh, it was no hitch. Yeah, a lot of a lot of bonuses coming from that day. That was really DeRosa was amazing. Oh man, he's a freewheeling fun guy. I didn't I didn't know he had it in him. Yeah, he's oh, he's great. Checking my AirPods. Umar was nice. Umar was fun. He's pleasant, brown. Pleasant guy. Uh, well, I went to the next night. We got we got back to New York at about uh, one a.m. or twelve thirty. I got home, you know, went to bed at one. Beep beep beep. My Muslim went off at about uh, six thirty. Got like three hours of sleep. Flew right to Martha's Vineyard. Wow, Martha's Vineyard. Were you yeah. working? No, I took two days. Um, but uh, a lot of shit happened, and we'll talk about it next week. Wow, big tease. Tease. I mean, it's no iPod, AirPod, uh, TJ, but. Uh, it's a fun one. Oh, I can't wait. I love the vineyard, Jaws. Yeah, I sent you a dumb Jaws shirt, and I was embarrassed that I sent you that. No, I gave it a thumbs up. I know. That's I had the no response. Worst response you can get is, uh, <laughs> imagine doing that in real life. Hey, how about this? I do that quite a bit. <laughs> and now, at least you responded. That's better than nothing. Well, I was stuck, and I was going to do a lot, but I think I was you know, looking for the AirPods or something. Oh, yeah. you had stuff going yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was the AirPods was hey, going on. There you go. It was a bad photo. Yeah, I was drunk. Yeah. I was doing a lot of day drinking. Um, but uh, yeah, a lot, of, a lot of crazy stuff. Did some... Did some shrooms, saw a concert, it got weird, but we'll tease, wow. it's going to get ugly, and then I flew to Missouri. To go from the vineyard to Missouri is quite a kick in the ball sack. Yeah, that's tough. Missouri loves company, folks. Yes, <laughs> culture shock. Uh, but yeah, we'll get all into that and uh, fun stuff, and we'll see you in hell, folks. Tuesdays, where are you going to be? Oh, uh, boy, I got, well, the special's out right now Woo! on both YouTube and Punch Up Live, which you could got that be right. the future, folks. Go over there, put your email in, and uh, get the special. Watch it on YouTube. Tell some friends. Mm -hmm. And uh, I got some big, exciting dates coming up. Um, I think, uh, what's it called, is next week, uh, Nashville. Ooh, Maybe that's the Nashville. Whatever. Yeah, I think it's next weekend. Nashville, Zanies. the 21st to the 23rd, I believe. Philadelphia, Helium, October 5th through the 7th. One of my old-timers. That's going to be fun and hot. I can't wait for that. And then back in Royal Oak, I think it's October 
Damn, 14 that's through a hot years. three. Or maybe no, it's maybe it's 19 through 21. I'm in uh, Royal Oak, Michigan. So uh, please come out to those. Those are going to be big dates, and those are the last three before uh, fatherhood. Ugh, so see him before he's depressed and impotent. Yeah, I'm both of those things now. So uh, it's going to really. I might be able to <laughs> the opposite. Maybe I'll be happy and hard. Yeah, just don't keep it away from the baby. Yeah, you gotta. Uh, I'll be in Europe, uh, Lisbon, Copenhagen, Amsterdam, Berlin. Glasgow, Dublin, London, Manchester, all that shit, Antwerp. And uh, then we're going to be at Skankfest, folks. We'll do a live pod out there. We'll really yuck it up with the gays. I'm so happy to have you back at Skankfest. I can't wait. You were missed the last two years. I know. I did Houston. For a day. I did a day in Houston. I spent five days of my life being like, I don't know where he is. He's Uh, not coming. Get his shirt made, folks. Send this man a shirt. I don't know where he is. I don't know where he went. I don't know what's happening. I don't know if he's gay or what, but uh, we had a good time. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you at Skankfest. And I got more dates coming up uh, all over. MarkNomanComedy.com. Give it a whirl. And watch both of our specials, for Christ's sake. What do you got, Choo Choo? Ah, check out my podcast, Fun Bear. Well, we just hit the first year mark, first anniversary. Hey. And by the end of the first year, we're top 3% podcast globally. Anniversary. Pretty great. Check it out. Mark's been on, Joe's been on, Mike Cannon. I don't know, a bunch of comics. Casey Jost. Tell them Steve Dave, guys. Check it out. There you go. You heard it here. Third. Thanks, gang. We'll see you all in hell. George just ain't got it. Comedy. Yeah, I didn't realize that took up the whole episode. That was great. I mean, that That's perfect. Was- Censorship will take us to hell. 